no change in policy, no, no change in anything, risk mm. skewed to the downside now. Mm. No surprise there. Does mm. that really have any impact, though, on, on any policy making, any policy mm. decisions that the mm. BOJ could mm. make going forward? I so agree that the no change is uh, just in line with the market consensus. There's no surprise. And I think the Bank of Japan is concerning about the downside risk of the economy, mainly caused by the external factors such as that, uh, uh, intens intensified trade friction, trade uh, war. And uh, as for the prices, I think that the BOJ could be uh, become more <laughs> cautious to that uh, uh, upside risk of the inflation rate uh, because that the economy is slowing a little bit. And uh, I think that there's some policy change by the government could push down that inflation rate next year, see if country. Uh, you think policy changes, and, and, and you, you see uh, the, the inflation rate falling, you said? Yeah. Because yeah. they're actually looking for it to come in, I believe, at 1% mm. uh, on the year, this year, and 1.5% uh, by 2020. Mm. Oh, last time I think that the BOJ reduced the focus for a year 2020. That is important. That is a, a CPI focus in two years ahead. Mm -hmm. Normally I think it, that is not the pure focus of the CPI, but it's kind of a target. Mm -hmm. Last time in July, uh, BOJ reduced the focus from 1.8 to 1.6 percent. This time reduced more. I think that is uh, in, implied that the BOJ is giving up that uh, achieving that 2 percent inflation goal uh, in a two years, three years. So I think that's a very big, important message. Very important message. Yeah. Where does it mean the BOJ is heading? Is that going to become formally recognized? Mm. What does it mean for, mm. for the policy? What does it mean for the yield curve control, keeping the 10-year JGB yeah. at zero percent? I think that uh, that is a part of the uh, Bank of Japan's strategy to change that status of 2 percent inflation goal. Uh, it's a weakening uh, that the uh, target, and I think that eventually BOJ may change that the uh, status of uh, two percent inflation goal from the short term target to the long term target. That could be an uh, important precondition for that BOJ to officially introduce, officially uh, uh, introduce that uh, normalization policy in the future, such as increase of uh, offshore interest rate. Well, but, but what about uh, some of the board members who are more in what they call the reflationist camp? People mm. like uh, Mr. Harada, yeah. Kataoka, uh, Deputy Governor Wakatabe, who yeah. seems to have become more of a centrist. But are they going to be on board with something like that? Most people say that's the obstacle for Governor Kuroda mm. backing away because they'll mm. say, oh, th that, that's a, a less stimulative policy. If you don't tell the Japanese public mm. you want to get to 2% now. Mm. I think that such a dovish people is not have a very important impact to that uh, uh, market because that the only three members cannot change that uh, policy. And as for that, the, uh, Mr. Koda, he's one to, uh, how to say, keep that kind of mental policy. But other members uh, prefer that uh, normalization. So I think that uh, such a, uh, mem uh, members could be become more uh, influential to that uh, BOJ and eventually change that uh, policy to the uh, normalization, direction of the normalization in the future. Back in May, you warned about financial stability risks, yeah. um, increasing risk being taken at bank. Echoed uh, recently in yeah. um, an interview Bloomberg News had with Atsuchi yeah. uh, Miyanoya, who's yeah. a former yeah. executive director, until very recently at the Bank mm. of Japan. He mm. thinks uh, that bigger bank losses mm. are the new normal. Do you think yeah. that's something that uh, Governor Kuroda will be discussing today? Do you think that's a more important issue that the BOJ is starting yeah. to focus on more as yeah. well? Of course, I think that the BOJ is paying more attention to that the stability of financial market because that keeping a stability of financial system could be, a, a, how to say, it's a, one of that double uh, mandate, dual mandate in Japan together with that price stability. So I think that maybe board members is paying more attention to that uh, achieving this target. And uh, I think that the BOJ is concerning about the risk of the deterioration of the financial system in the future because of that uh, decline of profit of financial institutions. That could eventually lead to the decline of uh, uh, financial intermediation functions. And uh, I think that that is uh, forcing that the financial institutions, particularly small financial institutions, take a bigger risk, like an expansion of that uh, very risky uh, lending to that real estate. Uh, sectors or are taking a very risk in, in the investment in the securities. I think that that is one of the concerns for the BOJ. And to deal with this uh, risk, I think that the BOJ has the intentions to increase that uh, long-term yield uh, to improve that profit condition for financial institutions.
but they're not ready to do it yet, or they would have done it today. What are you looking for? Do you think by, by January next year, they're going to widen that range, allow the target for that 10-year JGB to move even higher? And how much higher? What is it? You know, what are they, what are they uh, to do? I think that the next step could be implemented uh, at least at, uh, until the middle of the next year. And uh, that could lead to that uh, further increase of long-term yield beyond that 1.5 or uh, maybe 0.15 to 0.2%. And if necessary, BOJ may remove that uh, trading range. Uh -huh. And that could allow that uh, steeping yield curve. That could help that uh, financial institutions uh, in the future. What about the risk of a big move up in the yen? It seems to, yeah. that, that you help the financial stability, yeah. but at a time when the economy will also be faced with a mm. consumption tax hike, mm. we know it's a different kind. Mm -hmm. BOJ says it won't hurt the economy. Mm. Nevertheless, that seems like you might have a, a very difficult position if you have a yeah. rising yen, higher tax. What is that going to mean mm. for the economy? Anyway, as far as the economy and financial situations could be uh, favorable, BOJ is likely to accelerate at the normalization policy in de facto sense. However, I think that once the economy could deteriorate, BOJ have to stop or slow that normalization process. And the consumption tax hike is not a big concern for the Bank of Japan. However, I think that the uh, imminent big risk could be a trade negotiation, bilateral trade negotiation uh, between Japan and the U.S. I think that uh, uh, Japan is likely to force to reduce like, export, or particularly that the automobile export. And on the top of that, I think that the currency policy could be a, another issue in the, in the process of a trade negotiation. I think that the U.S. government may point it out. Uh, Bank of Japan's monetary policy is a kind of a manipulation and uh, it has intentions to lower the uh, uh, value of that yen to stimulate the economy. If that the U.S. government could point it out at this point uh, in the process of trade negotiations, uh, which may start at the beginning of next year, that could cause that the uh, increase that big risk of the yen. And if that the yen could appreciate, we also have to be more cautious to promote that uh, normalization policy.